In this video by ABN Painting, we are doing preparation work and spray painting of the house that is made of brick on all of the sides except of the front where the top coat is stucco. We power wash the house the day before and today we are starting prep work by scraping all the loose paint around the ceilings. It has three ceilings and all of them are peeling pretty badly. Uh, this is the smallest ceiling on this house that we already fixed. Here we are in the process of fixing a ceiling in the front of the house. After we scraped all the loose paint by hand we cover the windows and doors in plastic so the drywall mud doesn't get it dirty. And then we apply a first coat of drywall mud to the areas that we scraped. Uh, this is the ceiling on the back of the house and after the first coat of mud had a chance to dry we're applying the second coat to match the texture. After we're done with ceiling repair we're fixing cracks on the trim fascia and to fix all the smaller cracks we're using elastomeric patch. We pre-mixed a little bit of brown paint into the patch so this way it doesn't come out white and it's a lot easier to paint over this color when we're using brown paint to paint the trim fascia later on. Loose paint near the foundation of the house is very common and we use a party knife to scrape all the loose paint. We apply elastomeric patch to the areas that we scraped so that when we are finished painting the areas that has been scraped will blend in better with the rest of the house. We use the combination of elastomeric patch and latex caulk to fix the cracks on the body of the house. After we are finished with all the repairs and masked everything off, the house is ready for spray painting. The plastic that we used to catch all the loose paint from the ceiling has been replaced with a new plastic. This way when we spray and there's a pressure from the spray gun, it will not get all the loose chips and all the dirt all over the freshly painted surface. Here we're spot priming the areas that were repaired and we tinted the primer towards the color that we're going to be using so it would be a lot easier to cover later on when we're using the paint. Priming a few areas on the body of the house. And now this is a paint, an actual color that's going to be on the house. The extension on the spray gun helps us to reach to the areas that would be hard to reach otherwise. We run a piece of paper around the body of the house to accent the trim. We mask off the pop-outs on the front to give it an excellent color. We disconnected the extension from the gun and just using gun by itself. 
it's easier to paint the pop-outs that way. And this is the look of the house after we finished.